Recently, you know how tough it is right now to find the perfect home, especially for those first time buyers. Uh, some experts have described the uh, the atmosphere out there is really cutthroat and now some credit companies are allowing rent payments to count toward your credit rating. So Allison Gormley explains how this works and how it really gives people a fighting chance tonight in her What's the Deal report. First time home buyers don't have a shot. Like so many other first time home buyers, Carly Zabkar. It has been extremely difficult. Has learned the hard way. It's just really hard to compete. That it's no cakewalk. The houses that we're attracted to and that we want to put an offer in, they disappear in days and minutes. I thought I would be in a house already. I've been, you know, renting. I'm about to be 30 years old. It's not as easy as I thought. She's not alone. The number of millennials who expect to rent forever has doubled in the last few years to more than 18%, according to Apartment List Millennial Homeownership Report. But I feel like there are a lot of cards stacked against them. Shazia Virgie with Credit Sesame says a factor working against many first time home buyers is credit. Two thirds of millennials are credit invisible, meaning that they don't have a credit score or their credit score is very low. They're still burdened with student loan debt and they also saw the consequences that the 2008 financial crisis had on their families and their upbringing. So they're very averse uh, to take on that additional debt and the unintended consequence there is that they've essentially locked themselves out of the credit system. But here's the good news. All three major credit bureaus and mortgage buyer Fannie Mae recently announced they'll allow rent payments to count toward credit and loans. People can't yet do this themselves, but rent reporting services like Credit Sesame can help get your rent payments on the books, including those from the past two years. It's establishing like that they're able to make the payments on time. That's what building credit is. So why not be able to do it with rent? Most charge a fee 50 to 100 bucks on average and others are free. A potential leg up for those who just want a place to call home. You just got to keep fighting and you got to keep trying and keep looking and hanging in there.